Yo, what's up, chefs? It's your boy Vinny, coming back at you with another delicious Dark and Darker video. This time, it's going to be part of my new mini-series called How to Dominate as a Fighter. As always, if you do enjoy the video, please don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment Yes Chef down below to show your support. Without further ado, let's get cooking. Catch you in a second, chefs. All right, chefs, we're back, hopping straight into the game. But first, I'm going to throw up a little image on screen with a map. You should see it right about now. It's just going to show you where I spawned in and give you the path that I took throughout the game. I'm pretty sure I started top middle, made my way to the center, then from there went left to the Goblin Town, and then ultimately made my way back up to top center, just where I spawned in, which is also where I ended up ultimately finding my escape portal. Now that you've got that information, let's go ahead and hop into the game. Alrighty, so first things first, as I mentioned, spawning right in the top center of the map. I think I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of some bags of gold that I had that I brought in just because I had too many in my stash, so I wanted to drop some. Go ahead and grab some invis potions and a ruby real quick. And then right off the bat, I think I yeah, I hear somebody shooting an arrow over in the corner of the room. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab these gloves and then make my way over real quick. See some funny business happening over there, so I pull out the crossbow, get ready. Crouch, jump over this barrel, see the ranger. He says he doesn't want to deal with me, but fortunately he's able to dodge my crossbow bolt like a beast, and then we just get into an absolute slash fest. Uh, had to put him down for thinking he could step toe-to-toe -to, -toe to me like that as a ranger, but gotta give him respect where he deserves it, which, you know, like I said, I don't think a ranger's ever stepped toe-to-toe -to -toe to me toe to toe with me as a fighter like that so gotta give him respect where he deserves it go ahead and grab this chest a little bit of jewelry and a potion reload the crossbow and then i think i handle this pot real quick show it the business and then i start making my way into the goblin town this is pretty much where the madness starts to ensue i'm gonna open this door relatively shortly after that i'm gonna start hearing some pitter patter and some complete boots Yep, right there. Here's some plate boots to my right. Break this barrel. Go ahead and crouch jump over. Go ahead and pop the shield potion. Get ready for battle. Opening this door. And then funnily enough, somebody opens a door at the same time near me. <clears throat> I think it's the same guy I was just hearing. Nobody in there. Look around. Make sure this guy's not like glitching on the ceiling or something. Because I hear him, but I don't see him. I hear the wall spike go off down below me to the left, and then there he is, the fighter across the way. I take aim and I nail him with that crossbow bolt before he gets the potion off. You can see it sticking out of his side right there. And I decide, you know what, let's get jiggy. I run over, bink, bink, couple headshots to knock the potion off, and then I take him down. And then almost immediately behind me, Rogue goes stealth. I pop a potion, he starts stabbing me, and then it's just a goose chase from there on out. I weave him through the through the pillars, and then it's ring around the rosy for a second, just so I can get my sprint cooldown back up, which I'm pretty sure is what saves me in this in this instance. Make my way up the stairs while I'm using sprint, run over here, and then I decide, all right, let's go for it. He says, you know what, never mind, I don't want any of that. Takes one from the wall spike for good measure like a doofus pop my shield potion and then somebody's opening the door behind me can you believe it and and let me tell you let, let, let's look at this guy again real quick that's a chad that's a macho man chad rogue we are not playing with that so i pop the shield or i pop the health pot jump off i don't want to deal with him <clears throat> start running away so i can get back up though run all the way down to the south corner of the room you know, I'm waiting for my health pot to stop ticking so I can pop another one. I, you know, you can't overlap the same rank of health pot. I think about going in this room, but I remember there's a skeleton champion in there. And there's Chad jumping off the top ropes, chasing after me as, like his life depends on it. I get freaking cornered down in the pit with this goblin, so I start taking evasive maneuvers. And then I decide it's time for him to go down so I can get some more consumables off finish him off i find a moment of solace finally hide in the corner start popping some more consumables this guy starts peeping down at me saying something but i can't hear him all i know is he was trying to end my life and get his grimy little fingers in my pockets a second ago and then look at him 
He has the audacity to put his hands up, act like he's friendly. Dirty rogue player, man. There's only one thing going through his mind, and that is the loot in my pockets. Do not trust the rogue. That guy was just trying to end my life a couple seconds ago. Nothing changed in the couple seconds after that. Rearrange my inventory a little bit. At this point, I decide I gotta get moving. Break the wood planks. And I also realized the circle's closing in pretty soon, so gotta make my way up these stairs. I'm just checking behind me, and then I catch a I catch a glimpse for a sliver of a second of the rogue's ruptured weapons. Don't want to have to deal with that guy. Not not trying to lose my life. Run back into the room I opened from before. Deal with this one goblin that's chilling here. Quick work of him, even though I've got poop gear. That's why the build actually works pretty well. Hear somebody rummaging around next to me. So I think, you know what? It's a good time to go ahead and turn the roasters off. Pop a squat and let's just take a quick rest. The new re rest mechanic this patch is pretty cool. All of this like gray health that I've got on the bottom right side or the right side of my health bar. Be able to restore with rest. It's pretty much just damage that you took recently. Um, you can restore it without using consumables does take a while so i'm not going to subject you guys to waiting through that let me go and skip through it real quick all righty done resting go ahead and stand up make my way into the final circle opening this door and then boom clerics just running into my waiting arms jump off the top ropes myself hit them with the one headshot dead finish off the mobs that were chasing them down and then i pretty quickly noticed there was an escape portal right there I noticed there's like three people in this room with me. Or there were three people. Now there's only two because I killed the cleric. Finish off those mobs. I hear one of the two people opening the portal, which kind of sucks. You know, that might have been a portal I wanted to take. Jerk. But, you know, I look around for the other guy and there he is. He's a fighter. See him pull out the lantern. I see he's got some potions on his belt. Hear him rummaging around with him, and sure enough, he pops a shield pot, and I'm like, dang, he means business. So, take aim, and I whiff. And then, if he had watched my last video, he probably would have just killed me right here. But, evidently, he does not know that you can crouch jump over a single barrel, which gives me enough time to get my own shield potion off. His shield potion actually runs out at the perfect time. It's a couple headshots, and that guy's down for the count. Easy peasy, light work, if I do say so myself. <clears throat> He's got, he walked in with this jewelry, or he walked in with this loot, had this jewelry and gold for me. What a nice guy. Can't be thankful enough. Take everything off him that, uh, you know, I find important. I can't use that plate helmet, so I just leave it there. Finish off this goblin, and at this point, with everyone that's dead, um, I'm the last person in the lobby, I believe anyways, so go over here, think I'm going to open this chest, but just my luck, it's a mimic, and, you know, decide I don't feel like dealing with the mimic, so take a couple chomps, open the portal, run the mimic away, bait him into chomping one more time, and I take the portal and, you know, make my way out. And boom, that was a pretty successful run. There was some clown fiesta stuff happening during the middle, but ultimately it was a four kill match going in with very subpar loot, um, something you could get easily. Uh, you know, it's like 150 gold probably. You could get my full setup. Ended up making about 80 to 90 gold. I think it was like 95, 100-ish, um, plus the green falchion, which you could probably sell for like 30 to 50 gold at one of the trader markets if you sat around for a bit, but it's probably not worth it during the playtest. Other than that, though, it was a pretty sick run. Um, so I do have to say, as always, if you enjoyed the video, I'd really appreciate it if you subscribed, liked, left a comment down below saying yes, chef, to show your support. Other than that, I hope you have a blessed rest of your day. Take care. Latest chefs. Peace.